All right, let's draw the molecular orbital diagram for N2 with a positive one charge. Nitrogen brings five valence electrons with it normally. That would make 10 valence electrons total for the N2 molecule, but with a positive one charge, it means we actually only have nine valence electrons. One has been removed. The 2p atomic orbitals overlap to create this set of six sigma and pi 2p molecular orbitals, both bonding and antibonding. And the 2s atomic orbitals overlap to make the sigma and sigma, oh, sigma 2s and sigma antibonding star 2s molecular orbitals. More importantly, with nine valence electrons, let's use the Aufbau principle, bottom up, and Hund's rule, spread them out before you double them up, to fill this molecular orbital diagram with nine electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, Hund's rule, seven, eight, nine, and I'm done. <laughs> so are you. Now, N2 plus is not a stable species, and that has to do with its bond order. Its bond order is the number of electrons in bonding molecular orbitals, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, minus the number of electrons in antibonding orbitals, that's two, divided by two, which makes five divided by two, which is 2.5, which is not a whole number. And thus, the N2 plus one species is not a known dimer, or not a known stable species. If we had removed a second electron from here, make it N2 with a two plus charge, that electron wouldn't have been here. And instead we would have had a bond order of six minus two over two, which is positive two, which is a whole number, and thus N2 with a two plus charge is and should be a stable species. I just want to point out this is a different molecular orbital diagram than there would be for O2, F2, and Ne2, which have these two switched due to the number of new uh, protons in the nucleus of those other atoms. All right, but for lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, and nitrogen, feel free to use the blank version of this molecular orbital diagram. You'll be safe. All right, best of luck.